Hey, I'm Ellis with The Browser Company, and uh, have you ever been trying to collect a bunch of different places to stay for an upcoming trip or a shopping list or something like that, and realizing that folders and tabs are just kind of a terrible way to collect all this stuff, even though you can technically rename some tabs uh, in ARC to try and make things a little bit easier to find. It's just not the perfect way to collect or organize things, which is why we made Easel. Uh, a new kind of internet native canvas for collecting everything that you find online. Um, and so today I'm going to show you four ways to make collecting your internet a little bit easier with Easel. And that starts with trip planning, which is something that we find ourselves doing pretty often. And so the first thing we're going to do is drag your cursor up here to where your URL bar is and just click this camera icon right here. And what you're going to do is select the part of the page that you want. Go to New Easel in this pop-up menu. Type in Portland Trip. Maybe tweak the text a little bit. And boom, you have created your first easel. And so now I'm going to add a few more clips, and you'll get a sense of what this is great for. So let's do a couple more. Portland Trip. Let's maybe do one from Airbnb. There are so many ways to find places these days. Let's do one more from Verbo. Okay. So now that I'm here on this easel, what you can do that you can't really do in any other way is look at clips across all your different services, whether it's Verbo or Vacasa or Airbnb. You know, Airbnb does let, let you make lists for this stuff, but it's only limited to Airbnb, which is really where easels come in handy. And what's cool about it too is that you can annotate. If you click the share button up here, you can share it with uh, a family member or a friend and they can edit this live as well. They can star some of their favorite places. And um, it's really just a great little whiteboard for collaborating on stuff like this. You can drop in a map, the places you wanna go, it's nice to have all those things just in one place. Uh, another place this comes in handy is for projects. So I'll show you a project that I'm currently working on for an upcoming house renovation. And, you know, Pinterest is, is really nice for this stuff, but there's so much cruft, there's buy buttons, there's a lot of clutter and so much of the user interface that just kind of gets in the way of what you're trying to do. And here I've actually dropped in a blueprint so I can arrange this stuff spatially. A nice thing with Easel is that all these links actually automatically link back when you use the capture button to collect things. Um, this especially comes in handy. You can see I'm capturing ceiling fans from Home Depot, Rejuvenation, a bunch of other services. Looks like my wife put a little star on here and an X as well. And what's nice is that there's no other app to download. There's no need to sign up. It just kind of works inside of Arc and feels really, really fast and lightweight. Also, if any of my family or friends are watching, they can maybe be inspired by my little wanted list I have here of the things that I kind of have my eye on. Um, yeah, so uh, way number two that we love to use easels is to just like annotate and mark up things. There's really no easier way. So let's say I just got something from Christina on our team that I wanted to give feedback on. Just go to the command bar type in new easel. I'll do gifting mock-up. I'm going to go down here to my little library preview that um, shows, uh, shows my downloads and things like that. I'm going to look at my recent downloads. I'm going to grab this, drop it in, and let's take a look. Feel like ARC would be even more compelling to someone who uh, who was just getting it for the first time. If we maybe had an image in here showing off some of our features. And just like that, I can hit share, edit it, copy it, and then just share it with my colleague just like that. And they can get in here and look at my edits um, and uh, see what I mean. What else? Last but not least, one of the coolest new ways to use Easel is actually to create dashboards for pretty much anything in life. 
And uh, maybe you notice that some of the easels or some of the captures in my uh, wanted, wanted easel were live. And you can do that with just about any website. So here's a little daily dashboard that I'm putting together. Um, and all these clips are live. So I'll give you an example of how to do that. Let's do the weather for where I am in Los Feliz. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut, which is shift option C to capture a website. Let's add that to my daily dashboard here. Oops. Looks like that's getting in the way. Mm. This is frustrating. Okay, there we go. So now I have my weather here. Move it up and all I have to do is hit the play button here and it becomes live and I can even interact with it. It doesn't always work perfectly, but it's really fun. It applies to live YouTube videos, sites you're trying to check in on, uh, see like what the, I don't know, what the easy gap stock is like, check the air quality stocks or even headlines. The, the, these two pages are currently live right now. So it's a really fun way to just kind of check in on, uh, on your favorite stuff. And uh, we've had some really cool member ideas as well. Um, Ari here created a dashboard of all of his startups, most important charts. And, uh, this is experimental It might work better with some sites than others, but, um, pretty amazing. I feel like, and you can also watch, uh, Rosie who made this features example of her, uh, dashboard that she made. You can see she was using it here to actually create a unit converter and put it into like a workspace that she was working on. And uh, you can embed something like iCloud Notes, a calendar preview, just some pictures of your best friends, uh, maybe your open tickets in linear or something like that. Um, so one more thing with easels, you might be wondering where they all live. If you hit the X here and accidentally get rid of an easel, they live inside of your library. And so from here, you can open an easel. You can delete it for good. That's really the only way to, to get rid of an easel and find what you're looking for. So uh, yeah, let's recap a little bit of what we learned here. Using the capture tool, either with the camera icon and the URL bar or shift option C on your keyboard. Collecting everything from every service all in one place, which I think is really what differentiates this from something like an Airbnb list or even uh, Pinterest is that you can really do it in a spatial way from any service on a very, very clean canvas and uh, creating live dashboards. Make sure to hit that play button on your captures and uh, find your easels in the library or, of course, with the command bar. Um, and I think that's it for today. I know this one was a bit of a doozy, but easel is kind of one of our favorite things. So it seems like it deserved a little bit of a longer how to. Uh, I'm Ellis. I'm at Hamburger on Twitter. You can always find me there, leave comments below. And as always, you can share feedback with the whole team by just typing share feedback into the command bar and uh, we will get it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this shed a little light on how easel can kind of make some sense of everything you're collecting online. And uh, always feel free to tweet your easels at us. We'd love to see them and uh, we'll see you online.